the very first problem that the collective has to solve is um, to get aligned towards a specific journey in anatomical space. And here's what I mean by that. When you look at an early embryo, so here's an embryonic blastodisc, there might be, let's say, 100,000 cells. We look at this and we say, oh, there's an embryo. What, what are you counting when you say there's one embryo? What is there one of? Because actually there's 100,000 cells and within each one of those there are organelles and, and, and chemicals and so on. What, what are you actually counting? What you're actually counting is alignment. You are, you are counting the fact that all of these cells, under normal circumstances, all of these cells are committed to the same story, to the same model of where in anatomical space they are going to go. Anatomical space is basically the space of all possible um, geometric configurations of the body, and all of these cells are going to collaborate on building one particular structure because they, are, they have all bought into the same story about where they're going to go. I said under normal circumstances because what you can do and I, I used to do this in, in duck embryos as a grad student, you can make little, little scratches in this blastoderm and every one of these uh, little islands that's formed until it heals up, it doesn't know about the existence of the others and so they form their own embryo. And then eventually you get twins and triplets and, and whatever. So the number of individuals in this embryo is not set by the genetics. It is not obvious. It is not determined up front. They can self-organize by all uh, aligning towards uh, uh, different aspects of that story. And they will all complete the journey uh, in, you know, on, on their own.